Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Digray and today we'll continue our Warptorio series and we are getting quite far in this series. So today I want to make sure we have enough power since that is starting to lack a small amount. So we should probably start to expand our... Um, what's it called? Power production a small amount. We could also expand it with the, what's it called, more solar panels up here. And that could also be a thing we should do. But I kind of want to get a Warp Platform 7 upgrade done first, as that is the last one in this uh, production chain. And that hopefully means that it'll connect up to our outside platforms. So uh, exciting to look for that and uh, hopefully we will get it done this episode at least we should so right now everything's just kind of flowing as it should we got some oil flowing in we got our factory running of course we always have a small amount of things missing but uh, yeah it is running somewhat decently so it shouldn't really be a problem and this is mostly just a case of the production being too slow so uh, we could expand that we could also just take a small amount of solar powers or solar downstairs and set that up and then uh, we also want to um, just kind of fix what's it called um some more input of uh, different resources. But let's do this for now, giving us a bit more and then let's go and place down our left harvest platform. Uh, for some reason, we kind of forgot it last time and I'm not quite sure why. We have a ton of iron build up, like 150K. Stone is still somewhat good, but... Um, yeah, I think we should probably just grab um, a coal, not a coal, an iron outpost. And I think the easiest way to do it is go this way, take our trusty car and go a bit south for um, that iron patch down there. I do have enough ammo, so that shouldn't be an issue. But uh, let's just go and explore and see what we can find around uh, the world. Could also be lucky that we can find a larger pocket of uh, oil. That wouldn't be that bad. And wow, we're actually finding quite a big uh, pocket of items out here. Let's just clear this small thing out right here. Ooh. Since it will make it easier for us going forward. There we are. And the rest we can just kind of leave. Don't really mind those. So let's set up our little iron input right here. There we go. And uh, hopefully that will make sure that we get some more things in. So back to the base. We now have more iron flowing in, means we have more production going and more things going up top. That means we probably could start to expand our low density structures a bit. Uh, not that we need it right now, but uh, I know it will be needed in the future. Can we fit in one more above here if uh, we move it down one? We can. That might actually be a good way to get some more room or just fix this entire mess out here. So let's just craft a few more low density structures. We can just kind of line it up right here and then move the rest later. Don't know how our production will handle this, but um, hopefully it can do it without too much of an issue. And Let's take some solar panels up top and get ready to uh, expand, expand this platform as soon as we hit it. 
And as soon as that is done, hopefully we can start to put in a ton more solar panels and start to uh, use our platform stairs. Our platform stairs, but use these outputs for turrets. I think that could be quite cool and uh, about time we use them for something. And let's clean that up. And look, almost nothing's being produced from here. They are almost empty. So that's actually looking quite, quite good. Um, yeah, we could also go down here and maybe set up a bit more uh, science production. That's the only thing that's kind of holding us back a bit. So getting that set up is kind of a priority for me at the moment. Let's just fill in a few more ore. To be honest, we could do this instead. Upgrade planner. Go from one to two for now. And then we can just do that and get it all sorted out very easily. So now we have science going. What platform almost done. Uh, do you want the nuclear reactor? I don't think I'm going to be using it for that much. So I probably want to go for something else. Huh. Or upgrade the speed of the chest of all platforms. Could be good. Um, I was looking for something I wanted to make. If look at this one. As the modules we get out the way and get down to the rocket fuel. I think that would be good to get that. And this one. Because then we are quite close to having uh, what we need for all of these things. And can start to produce some uh, rock control units for our rocket that we'll soon be able to launch. I think that could be quite, quite cool. So we're... This is looking uh, decent enough. Things are flowing through fine. And our situation in terms of resources is more than favorable. Should probably move some of this somewhere else. It's just kind of blocking our way here. So please go down there instead. And the same with you. Can we do it like that without anything messing up? Other than the power. You can just go over there. And somewhere around there is probably where we want the power pole to connect the rest up. I know I'm going to craft a ton more of these, but that shouldn't really be that big of a deal. And we should probably start to look at our green circuits as well. Instead, it's one of the other things that can't keep up at the moment. Even though our... Yeah, it's needed for red signs. So uh, let's just do this. One, two, three, four. You'll fit in nicely over here. And we can remove that one. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, nuclear plant gives me access to something cool. I, don't, I think so at least. Um, what was it? Oh, it'll give us access to this one. To be honest, let's just do this and then go for this one and the other two we had before. If I can remember what it was, I think it was module and module. And I'll unlock our, what's it called? Rocket silo. So we can finally start to research these things. I think that will be very, very cool and exactly what I want uh, going forward. Oh, these are kind of hold us back as well. So hopefully more green circuits can solve that issue. We're missing robots to move things. We are not. So it's pretty much just a lack of uh, Copper wire, at least until it levels out completely. 
and 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 we can make this making everything a lot faster but does cost a lot to make so i kind of want to wait with that i know we're missing the room a bit oh 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 power is kind of running at a bad spot at the moment so let's just fix that and then hopefully we can uh, can get something good up and running uh, let's just mix do that and run you a bit over this way instead and then we kind of want to move this one to the opposite side so start over here a bit less though Please grab this part. One, two, three, four. That is able to fit in right there. I think we'll be fine for now. And then we'll just hook this up, add some things, and hopefully that will give us uh, the power we need to uh, retouch, charge this even. Oh, damn, that's a huge platform. So, um, what I think we should do now is pretty much move this to uh, the outside edges. I don't think our platform can get any bigger. Since we have the warp platform upgrade 7 done. These might get bigger, but that should be everything. And I don't think that will expand this part, at least I don't think it will. So, um, yeah, let's move these out to the side. So I still want this one in the middle. Pretty much take all of this, just add it to the middle up here. And I think it should be somewhere around here. That seems correct. And that means we can start to move these up as well. I'd like for you to go right here and here. And then just expand out. Uh, we probably don't need to uh, to cover all of it. And we can probably make some kind of uh, thing going across down this way. Yeah, of course it doesn't fit as it never does. But um, let's just get this filled over this way as well. To I think that edge is what we're going for over here. That means we can take this one and turn it around and make sure that we have all of this connected up. Let's see here. Walls expand down this way. Thank you. The same the opposite way. So let's try and see if we can just leave that a bit open. I don't think it will be that big of a deal, but uh, yeah, who knows. I think right here should be correct. It means we have these two lining up. And the rest should kind of be built as we get room. Also means we can move this one out here to go in this way instead. And make a small hole in our wall right here. There we are. Um, what is the next part? It's pretty much get all of this up and running. There, there, and not really hooking up the best way. But we do something like that, we probably should be able to hook it up nice and easily. Can we then do something cool where we always keep one away from it? Or something like that. I kind of want to go the other way because that's what we've been doing so far. Doesn't really make any difference other than making it go uh, in the same direction. Good, so that means we have this one done. That means we can take this part and kind of fit it in everywhere. Here, actually from that area, I think, if I'm lucky. 
fitted in that should be the correct spot and the opposite area I can't see but uh, it should be fine so now we can take this part to right there flip that around place it down here hopefully it will fit it fits very nicely and of course I forgot to get the belts situated but uh, I can do that very very easily there we are and now for the fun part adding this to it remembering to get a power pole and one right here so now we should be able to copy this down a few times and be good And the proper place is somewhere, so we... Oh, doesn't it line up? Oh, we have 21, so it almost lines up. But that does mean that our power poles is in a bit of an awkward position. Um, could just have one right here in the middle. And then one right here on the opposite side. Would that even work? Let's just see here. Um, just take this, please. Oh, that's way, way too many. How did that happen? There we go. Please go right there. And the last one. That one in the middle. And then we take all of this without the middle one, and that should fit in over here, right there. And that one. So that should give power to all of it. Though it looks a bit misaligned because I want this one here. Just trying to make it look somewhat symmetrical. That's always a good thing to do. Do we agree that this lines up now? Let's try it at least and see if it uh, doesn't do what I want it to. And take this part. Pretty much just flipping it around, adding it down everywhere and then flying in a ton of resources. That is pretty much what's going on. And then we have all the space in the world for our new things. There we go. That means we can tear down most things in here and uh, use the rest out here for, uh, for production. You can just go straight ahead instead. like that and that is exactly what i want to see so now for the fun part let's tear down this wall and let's see what problems this gives us hopefully nothing but as you know with all construction some things most of the times goes a bit wrong And this should be moved out to somewhere. Oh, they're trying to pick up all the ammo. That's probably... Please stop. A bit of an issue. But we can always just throw it back in here. And then it should get delivered out to the correct places. While that is going, let's just empty out our inventory of all these items. And just watch this uh, move at a really good pace. Missing green logistic science. So you can't keep up anymore. Oh, we 
I feel like we've got a lot more room down here. We did get a lot more room down here. So uh, we'll probably have to add a few more of you. Red is somewhat keeping up. Let's give it one more. Just to make sure there is no issues in terms of uh, supplying enough for all our projects. And this one is working. We're pretty much just missing this. And that is not lacking that much. Except all the green circuits that we need to produce. Oh, that's one. There we go. Do we have any more where they're not producing? We don't. So, uh, so yeah. Let's put in some more. Where should we do it? So kind of interesting how much of this gets uh, moved out. These are pretty much, wow, they need 20 each. They actually are quite expensive. I had completely forgotten about that. What? We can't fit in two. But we can fit in one in these, and then we can flip two of them somewhere else. So we can do that. And then we can turn you two that way. And do two more that way. Don't know if this is a good way to do it, but at least it fills out some of the issues I have. And we can always move it later. So uh, no worries there. And yeah, we're just starting to run out of logistics and automation. So red, green and blue is our big uh, problem at the moment. Oh, we're losing blue over here. No mind. That's fine. We'll just let this run. We're running out of power again. Wow, that's that's insane. Oh. Oh. Well, that makes sense why we're running out of power. That should hopefully help a bit. You are connected up. Oh. <laughs> that was a lot of uh, fail in one go. As I said about a few minutes ago, something always goes wrong when you try to make a big, con uh, what's called, construction project. But uh, that should hopefully solve it again. So let's grab some of these. Let's grab some of those. And go upstairs. Throw it into our trusty chest. And let's just get it all delivered out in a nice orderly fashion. Yeah, just do a bit more here. It might be, oh, it's, it should be fine. To be honest, it shouldn't really be needed to go uh, with that many. Oh, it's right on the edge. Can just keep up. But now I at least have room for a lot more solar panels. And we also have substations, so that should make it a bit easier to avoid them to place down. Um, this will probably destroy something if I put it right there. Could actually have done something like this and taken out all the other um, things. So let's just make a blueprint for solar. We do have enough stored here if it's completely full. If not, we can always add accumulators in the future. So let's see, how can we fill one of these? Then we can do a small overlap like this, I think. To, um, let's just cause it put it the only place where we didn't have enough room. So let's just do this so we can make a somewhat good blueprint. What if we do something like this? 
Then we actually can fit in a few accumulators. Don't know if it's a good design or not. And do we even have any accumulators yet? I have completely neglected that for uh, for this uh, this playthrough. Doesn't seem like it. So let's just go grab some batteries, which is not really being used for anything at the moment. At least not that much. So we'll just grab a few. Seems like green circuit is starting to build up a surplus. And uh, let's just craft four of these. To be honest, we can just set it up down here if we don't get anything else with these. I think we might just get warp accumulators that are very expensive and can hold a ton of things, but are <laughs> very expensive. So let's see here. Let's just do it there for now. To be honest, please craft accumulators for us. Right here. They'll get done at some point in the future. <laughs> Four. One, two, three. We can actually fit in four. How does that look in terms of putting them on top of each other? Actually, very good. So I might go with a blueprint like that. I don't think that is too bad. At least I can't see why yet. Let's get the power pole down right here. And input, input. Place these down. Always something you forget. There we are. I could have made it all the way out here, but uh, until I know how much this expands, let's just keep it right there. I know we have no walls, but um, yeah, let's let's give it a try and see what happens. What is the worst that can happen? <laughs> Famous last words. But everything is filling up quite nicely. More turrets. You can have some more. If I didn't dismantle our entire production of uh, circuits somewhere down here. I probably did. Because that would sound like me. So please take those. That one. And let's start to uh, to move things around. Dismantle all of this and all of this right here. And then let's just move you to some place a bit better. Fit oh, if it fits in right here. How will that look in terms of uh, production? Then we can have two on each side, and you can go away. You can go away. Most of this should probably get moved somewhere else to make room for progress. But where I haven't really decided on yet. Let's see here. You can just get, to be honest, another blueprint right here below. Fit in as much as you can. The same over here. That should connect up all the things. And that would look very nice. So uh, this is actually looking quite good from my perspective. For those, let's give me more steel, please. 
your second craft bit more and we are in desperate need of the power. So um, let's hook up the rest. Let's go grab some more solar cells. I know they're not generating all the time up here, but uh, that's just what we have to work with at the moment. So that's one thing we'll have to look at very soon, how to get the rest of this power up and running. Because this is definitely not enough in the night time. Is this something I haven't connected? Oh, this is not connected up again. I need, really need to find a better fix for this, so I don't keep turning it off. Want to deconstruct things, but uh, oh well, that is what happens once in a while. But luckily, we are building up. That also means that this is a somewhat good place to stop. We have uh, most of our science running. We almost have a rock control unit, and as soon as we have that, we can set up production and start to. Uh, to craft those and for that we actually need to set up a lot more um, blue circuit production because I can already tell this is not gonna be uh, enough not at all so we might just deconstruct that one because it's not working anyway and just throw in one more of these And this might actually be a candidate for uh, the lot more expensive one. Just getting these upgraded to the next tier. There we are. And then we can have more productivity. Saving on resources. But uh, also getting all of this worked. So let's just get tier 2 ones for now. And then we can get tier 3 ones afterwards. So uh, I think I'll end our episode here. Everything is running so smoothly at the moment. And uh, yeah, that is something I can't complain about. So next episode, we'll get our rocket control unit done. We will get started on the list of this. And then we can start to do our rocket silo research. We'll just have to uh, hook up a lot more since uh, we need a ton of resources to get all of this done. But yeah, I will end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for all the comments you're giving me. I know I'm not always uh, following all of them, but uh, I try to do my best. But once in a while, I miss things. But yeah, I'll end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next episode. Bye guys.